Happy New Year, guys. Um, hope we've made it to 2021. Hopefully this year's going to be better than 2020. Um, but let's go ahead and look at Lesson 21. This is January the 4th through the 8th, so make sure you do have Lesson 21 in front of you. We are looking at solution sets to inequalities with two variables. Um, what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to recognize and identif identify solutions with two variable inequalities. Um, we're going to use what we call a half plane. Um, and we'll talk about all of this here in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, exercise one says circle each ordered pair x and y. That's the solution to the equation 4x minus y is less than or equal to 10. Um, so go ahead and do me a favor and pause your video and do this. Guys, let me explain to you. All you're doing is plugging in. So for example, in the first set. You're going to plug 3 in for x, and you're going to plug 2 in for y. And if you get a true statement, then you circle it. So go ahead and pause your video and um, see which ones you come up with. Alright, so what you should have gotten is you should have figured out that all of the first five work. And then you should have figured out that on the second set of numbers, the first three work. All right? And like I said, it was simply just plotting in or putting in, um, for example, this one, 5 times x or 5 times 4 is 20 minus 10. So 20 minus 10 would be 10. Is 10 less than or equal to 10? That is a true statement because 10 is equal to 10. So this one would work. B says plotting solution is a point x, y in the coordinates of the plane. So now they want us to um, plot these. All right. Um, so 3, 2. Plot that one. We're going to plot 2, 3. We'll plot negative 1, negative 14. Um, 0, 0, 1, negative 6, 5, 10, 0, negative 10, and 3, 4. So this is what it looks like. All right. How would you describe the location of the solutions in the coordinate plane? So how would you might how would you describe these? Um, they don't all fall on a line. If you look at this, we kind of have this one here that's stuck out, you know, away from it. Um, they don't all fall on a line, but if you drew a line through any of the points, um, the others are not too far away. All right. So the points do not all fall on one line. But if you drew a line through two of those points, So in other words, if I were to just take, um, just choose two points here, and let's say that I drew, a, I'm going to draw a very light line through that, you would see that um, the other points are not too far away from that line. too far away. Alright. Let's look at exercise 2. 
Okay, so let's look at exercise two. It says discover as many additional solutions to the inequality 4x minus y is less than or equal to 10 as possible. Organize your solutions by plotting each solution as a point of x, y in the coordinate plane and be prepared to share the strategies used to find your solution. Well, obviously, I would love for you guys to be able to share your strategies with me, um, but we're not in person, so I can't do that. Um, so, one thing, the first thing you need to understand is there are many, many solutions to this equation or to this inequality. Um, you're never going to be able to find them all. All right, so you may have solutions that I don't have, or I may have solutions that you don't have, but I'm just going to kind of give you some examples of other numbers that would fit in this inequality. So one, one would work. All right, one, negative three would work. Negative two, 2 would work. All right, and negative 5, 4 would work. So these are some other examples of points that would work for this inequality. So it says graph the line for y is equal to 4x minus 10. What do you notice about the solutions to the inequality 4x minus y is less than or equal to 10? And the graph of the line y is equal to 4x minus 10. All right, so let's graph y is equal to 4x minus 10. If you remember, 4 is my slope because this is in slope-intercept form. This is my slope. This is my y-intercept, which means it crosses at negative 10. All right. And I'm going to do a slope of 4, so that means I rise 4 over 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. 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 All right, and that's probably enough points that I can um, do this. making sure it was, so here's my line. So it's wanting us to compare this line to the points. So let's go ahead and put one, 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 negative three, negative two, two, a negative five, Four. All right. Um, it says, what do I notice about my points? All right. And even if I go back to the points that I had at the beginning, all right, um, where do I notice that my points lie? So all of the points either lie on the line or they lie to the left of the line. Okay? So I'm going to go back really quickly and I want to put in... One, two, three, two. I want to put in two, three. I want to put in negative one. Negative 14. I'm going to put in zero, zero. One, negative six. Right there. Five, ten. Zero, negative ten, and three, four. So this is all of the points that we've had to deal with with this inequality. All right, and notice that every single one of them are either on the line 
or they are to the left of a line. So it says solve the inequality for y. All right, so here's my inequality for x minus y is less than or equal to 2. I would subtract my 4x, but negative y is less than or equal to negative 4x plus 10. I have to divide this by negative 1, all right, because I don't want a negative y. So I have to divide by negative 1, which means I have to divide all of this by negative 1. So y, remember when I divide by negative, my inequality sign switches. So that would be 4x minus 10. Now look at this in comparison to my actual equation. Interesting. So it says complete the following sentence. If an ordered pair is a solution for 4x minus y is less than or equal to 10, then it will be located where? It will either be located on the line or above, meaning above, this would be above the line, or we would say to the left. So we call this above the line or to the left of the line. Y is equal to 4x minus 10. Explain how you arrived at your conclusion. Well, I mean, we simply um, plotted points. That we had found to be solutions. what we did. Um, we tested some other points and this is what we found out. We found out that they all lie above or on the line of y is equal to 4x minus 10. Alright. So let's look at example number one. So it says the solution to x plus y is equal to 20 is shown on the graph below. Graph the solutions to x plus y is less than or equal to 20. All, um, let's think about this for a second. Um, how do I figure this out? Well, here's what I'm going to tell you to do. The simplest way for you to do this, okay, the simplest way for you to do this, is to pick a point. I'm going to look at a point here. Or I'm going to look at a point here. So I can look at 0, 0. I'm going to plug 0 in for x and 0 in for y. 0 plus 0 is 0. Is 0 less than or equal to 20? It is. It's less than. So I know the points down here should work. Let's choose a point here. Let's choose 20, 30. So I'm going to put 20 in for x, 30 in for y. That gives me 50. Is 50 less than or equal to 20? It is not. So therefore, it tells me that all points below the line should be shaded. So everything here below my line is shaded. means every point that I choose here will work with that inequality. Let's look at B. Graph the solution to x plus y is greater than or equal to 20. Once again, let's plug it in. Choose a point, 0, 0. Or I'll tell you what, let's do 10, um, let's do 10, 5. That would be right here. So 10 plus 5 is 15. Is 15 greater than or equal to 20? It is not. So let's do 20, 25. So 20 plus 25 is 45. Is that greater than or equal to 20? It is. 
So in this case, it's telling me that every point that I choose above this line, all right, will work. So all points above the line. Are shaded. Okay. All right, let's look at um, C. Graph of solution to x plus y is less than 20. All right, so let's talk about this. Um, there's a couple of things I want to show you. Um, look at this for just a second. Notice how my line here is solid. The reason my line is solid is because it is equal to, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. That means all points that are on that line or shaded below would work. All points that are on this line and shaded above will work. All right, so a solid line would be greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. If it is not, notice this one is not greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. It is just less than. We would use a dashed line. If it is just greater than or less than, we would use a dashed line. So graph the solution to x plus y is less than 20. So I need to figure out what that line is going to look like. All right, um, so I'm going to solve this for y. So I get y is less than negative x plus 20. So that tells me it's going to cross the y-axis at 20. And the um, slope is negative 1. All right, so I can go down 10 over 10. Down 10, over 10. Down 10, over 10. So here is my line. But remember, it is a dashed line. So it's going to look like this. And now I need to figure out where I'm going to shade. So let's put in a point. Um, let's put 0 in. 0 plus 0 is 0. Is that less than 20? That does work. Let's look at um, 30, 20. 30 plus 20 is 50. Is that less than 20? It is not. So now I'm going to shade everything below. But like I said, notice the difference here. My line is dashed on this one. It's solid on this one because of the inequality sign. So the line should be dashed. And all points below are shaded. Okay? All right, let's look at the last one. Graph the solution to x plus y is greater than 20. Once again, I'm going to solve um, for y. So y is greater than negative x plus 20. So once again, I know it's going to cross at 20. So my slope is negative 1, which means I can go down 1 and over 1 every time. So if I go down 10... I'm going to go over 10, down 10, over 10, down 10, over 10. Once again, it is a greater than. It is not equal to, so I need a dashed line. All right, so I have a dashed line. Now I'm going to figure, knowing what I know about this inequality, I'm going to guess that I probably could try a point above. So if I try, let's say I try 20, 20, all right? 
20 plus 20 is 40. Is 40 greater than 20? It is. So I would shade all points above. So the line would be dashed. And all points above the line are shaded. just graphing these. All right. So um, I'm going to give you that, but we're going to move on to the, the next part of our lesson because this is where I told you we were going to talk about what we call a half plane. A half plane is the graph of a solution set in the Cartesian coordinate plane of an inequality in two real number variables that is linear and strict. Okay, so let's talk about what that means. Um, so it says, describe in words the half plane that is the solution to each inequality. Um, so here we've got y is greater than or equal to zero. Let's see what that would look like. If I were to, grade, to um, graph this, notice there's no x there which means there's no slope. That means that no matter what x is, y is always going to be greater than or equal to zero. All right? So if x were two, y would be zero. If um, x were negative four, y would be zero. So Actually, this would be this line right here, my x-axis. But it wants to know what parts would work for this. Well, if y has to be greater than or equal to 0, then that means that I have to be looking at everything that is above or on the x-axis. All right, so the half plane lying above the x-axis and including the x-axis. All right. So I am looking at everything above the x-axis and including the x-axis. All right? I, so I would be shading this. All right, let's look at B. X is less than or um, negative 5. So let's think about what that would look like. So X is less than negative 5, so here's negative 5 here. I have a dotted line that goes down negative 5. What part of the half plane would look at, would I be looking at? Well, if I want x to be less than negative 5, that means I would be looking at everything over here. So the half plane, I spelled half wrong up there. The half plane left. of the vertical line x is equal to 5. Okay. Now it does not include x is equal to negative 5. Okay. 
Okay, it does not include that because it says x is less than negative 5, not less than or equal to. All right, y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 5. So let's look at what this would look like. So y is equal to 2x minus 5 would be graphed like this. All right, so I know it's going to be at negative 5. 